I'm Chris Duke, and this is Motors. Over a decade ago, a man by the name of Horst Leitner drew a concept of a new product for pickup trucks on the back of a paper napkin. His invention was the result of losing too much gear out of the bed of his pickup truck while hauling his motorcycle. That invention later became the bed extender, which has been sold over two and a half million times through OEs and aftermarket retailers. It has become as common an aftermarket accessory as the bed cover. Today on Motors, I'm going to show you how to install one of these on a 2007 GMC pickup truck. Now let's take a look at everything that comes in the box. Of course we've got the tubes here, these uprights, the straps, these end caps for the tubes, and a universal mounting bracket. Now AMP Research supplied us this quick latch which is going to allow us to take the bed extender off at any angle. In order to mount these we have to use the template also provided by AMP Research. For this installation you're going to need a rubber mallet, a Phillips screwdriver, a Torx T20 bit, a center punch, a tape measure, a hammer, a power drill, and a 964 drill bit. Tape the template that you just cut out to the D-pillar of the bed of your truck and then use a center punch to mark your holes. Using a 964 drill bit, drill through the sheet metal. Attach these quick latches to the truck using the supplied Phillips head screws. Slide the three bent tubes into the pivot upright with the drilled tube in the center. And secure it with the provided screw. Slide this strap latch over the outside tube with this plastic insert that's on here facing up. And then attach this bumper upright to all three tubes. Then place the center upright over the ends of the tubes. Insert three of the large wedges into the bumper upright and tie it loosely with a Torx T20 bit. Extend the tubes through the pivoting upright about three eighths of an inch and then loosely secure with these large wedges as well. Add on the strap latch retainer and bang on the three end caps. Now slide these three center tubes into the open ends. Now connect the two halves, making sure there's a minimum of a three inch overlap here into the bent tubes. Now I've got the two pieces put together and need to take it over to the truck to check the width. Looks like it's a little bit too wide there. Using a rubber mallet, straighten the center upright and then using a double wedge and a through hole wedge, secure the center upright with the provided screw. Then 
adjust these bumper uprights here so that they sit on a flat surface of the tailgate as well as inside the truck on the bed when it's inside the truck. Now to secure the bed extender when it's on the tailgate, just take the strap and push it right into the latch. And when you want it back in the inside of the truck, just pull the tailgate handle and it'll pop out. Just swing it back into the bed of the truck and close up your tailgate. To remove the bed extender from your truck, just lift up on the quick latch handle right here and pull on up. It's made out of aluminum, so it's super light and super durable. So you can use it as a chair, it'll support up to about 200 pounds. Or you can use it as a table to hold your gear. Well, that does it for this episode of Motors. For more information on AMP Research's products, go to amp-research.com. And for more of our videos, go to motors.tv. And please be sure to subscribe to our podcast on Apple iTunes. Uprights, we've got these uh, things here in a bag. Chris is a great looking sign. I like the looks of it. Yeah, thanks a lot, Tom. Motors tip of the day, use a rubber mallet for everything. That invention, <laughs> that invention became the bed extender. One, ah, two. The bed extender can be used for survival situations. As a step stool. As a bed. As a workout station. For watching motors on Apple iTunes. As a dog kennel. Here you go, Blue. Good boy. For drying your old clothes. As a storage rack. As a towel bin. And the universal mounting bracket can be used as a bottle opener.